Welcome to another episode of the Pennsylvania Historical Markers series. Welcome to another episode of Pennsylvania Historic Markers. Uh, this one has been submitted by Cheryl and Chris of Sun Plus One YouTube channel. Uh, so thank you to Cheryl and Chris. Uh, this particular marker is uh, in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Uh, it is for Christian Frederick Martin, 1796 to 1873. Founder in 1833 of C.F. Martin and Company, the Martin Guitar Company, one of the world's oldest musical instrument manufacturers. Its innov innovations in acoustic guitar design, including the expressed flat top guitar and dreadnought guitar, were to exert a formative influence on the industry. German born C.F. Martin moved the firm from New York City to this area in 1838. He built a small shop here in 1859. It expanded many times and was long the company's factory. So let's talk a little further in depth about this company and its importance to the region. Hi right, everybody, so let's talk about C.F. Martin or Christian Frederick Martin Sr. who started this company. He was born in uh, Germany, uh, I believe it is uh, the electorate of Saxony. And uh, on January 31st, 1796, he was actually the second of five children. And uh, in that part of Germany, or you know, Prussia or whatever it was at that time, it, uh, it was common to have everybody known by their second name. So he was actually known more as Frederick because his siblings all had a derivation of Christian. So it was Christiana, Christina, Christian, Christian. So I'm sure it could get quite confusing if you had a couple brothers and their names were all Christian and you're like, Christian, what, what, what? So he was actually known as Frederick uh, over there. Now he uh, belonged to a family that was part of the local cabinet making, making guild, uh, which also made uh, guitars. And so he wound out not only learning the cabinet making trade, but he also apprenticed under a master guitar maker in Austria by the name of Johann Stauffer. And he actually worked his way up to being the shop foreman. Now by 1832, unfortunately, his four siblings had all passed. His mother had passed and in 1832 his father had passed. Now he was married and had two children at the time. And at that point, with no family, and then also the guitar making guild and the violin making guild did not get along and were arguing over who had the rights to make a guitar because to the violin making guild's credit it is a musical instrument and to the cabinet making guild they look at it as they were making a musical cabinet so ultimately the, the cabinet making guild won the dispute but it's sort of the whole thing left them really dissatisfied and very unhappy about what had all happened. So he ultimately, was talking with his wife, they decided that they would go to America in 1833. So they wound up sailing over and settled in New York City where he made his first shop. Now in the back, he practiced perfecting his craft of making guitars. In the front, he would sell musical instruments and sheet music to sort of make ends meet. But over time, he perfected his methods, and uh, he wound out doing really, really well with a dovetailing uh, 
technique, and then also he created that famous uh, X bracing uh, technique that uh, would bring the bring together bring the wood together to create the right sound. Now the cool thing is what brought them to Na Nazareth, Pennsylvania, was actually his wife, and I'm going to probably butcher this, Lucia Otelia Quell, and I'm sorry to my German friends. Uh, she was actually the daughter of Viennese, Viennese, Viennese uh, harp maker, and she uh, went down to visit a friend in Nazareth and fell in love with this community. Now remember at this time, it was a Moravian community still, and much like Lidditz, which we visited, they did not allow outsiders to purchase property. Uh, even in Lidditz's case, I'm not sure if Nazareth was the same, but Lidditz, they didn't even let people, anybody that was not Moravian move into the community because they wanted to have this utopian community. Well, in Nazareth's case, much like Lidditz, at a certain point in time, they decided, yeah, we'd sort of like some more flavor to the community. So in 18, I believe it was 1856, they wound out allowing people to wind up buying property. Uh, in 1838, though, the Martins had come to Pennsylvania. Now, the shop was actually in a different community, but when the Moravian community decided in 1856 that they changed their policy, they wound up purchasing a property at 10 West North Street in Nazareth, which is the building that you've seen several times. And that was their factory for, till I think, 1963. Uh, and, uh, they actually have a plaque on the building that uh, the building dates to 1859 when it was officially finished, and it is on the National Register of Historic Places, and it's been since 2018. Now, they don't make guitars in that original building anymore. Uh, the modern factory is actually at 510 Sycamore Street, uh, and that was purchased in 1964, so they ran operations at least till 1963. It may have gone a little further, but the original factory is now the home of Guitar Makers Connection, which is a specialty shop which caters to people who make or repair guitars. Uh, and the cool thing about this company is over time with a the business, they sort of perfect their techniques, streamline things to just sort of get more efficiency. Even with all that process happening, even with this company, Martin guitars are still all handmade uh, to this day. It usually takes, for one of the regular guitars, four months or even more to complete from start to finish. Uh, the dreadnought shape, which is what they're really famous for, uh, was first created by the company in 1916 and it has become the most common style for the body of an acoustic guitar. Now they do have a second factory in Mexico where certain products are manufactured to help keep up with the demand. But Martin will even continue to this day design a custom guitar to buyer specification, which is usually the case with celebrity musicians who prefer the quality. And to that end, they actually have some of the famous people that um, have them and use them was like Elvis Presley, Willie Nelson, Colby Calais, Eric Clapton. Uh, it's funny, uh, the Chris Frederick Martin IV is the sixth Martin to helm the Martin Guitar Company. He said, he's like, well, the one thing we need to get right, it's important to, to know, is that C.F. Martin Sr. invented the guitar. Now, in a way, he's joking, but at the same time, it's the guitar as we currently know it, modern guitar, he did invent that. He created the improvements that gave the best sound and made the best guitars. So without him, you know, a lot of musicians, especially like indie musicians and, and that type of stuff, the folk musicians, really appreciate the guitar's sound and the quality. Um, and because of that quality, they've continued to make this quality product, which is probably the best known Lehigh Valley product in you know the area. For over 200 years, they've been making these guitars. Now, he, he passed away in, uh, February 16th, 1873, and he's actually buried in a Nazareth Moravian cemetery with his wife. And his son took over, C.F. Jr., and he had already been taking an active role, including uh, getting the plant put together and, and all those types of things. And then eventually, he wound out uh, contributing to the modernization, things like steam power to increase the workshop's efficiency. His son, Frank, ran a company for 60 years and he also oversaw the company creating a line of ukuleles in response to the annexation of Hawaii in 1915. 
and the resultant interest in Hawaiian music. Uh, after Frank came C.F. Uh, Martin III, and then Frank II. So that's why uh, Chris, Christian Martin is actually only the fourth Christian Martin to run the company, because there were two Franks in there for some reason. But uh, the uh, Chris, the current, uh, which I'm not sure if he's CEO anymore, because I read something that he might have stepped down. Uh, he's the one in 1996 that established the Martin Charitable Foundation as a way to give back to the community. Uh, An organization supports various endeavors throughout the Lehigh Valley, uh, particularly those that focus on arts. There are factory tours. Uh, there's really a Martin Museum. There's a number of different things there that you can go and check out. And I think it, at least it used to be that it was admission was free. Uh, they do ask if you can give a $5 donation, no, and it might be more now, the Martin Charitable Foundation. Uh, so it's a really, really neat company. Uh, I want to say thank you to Laura Klotz from MarkerQuest. Uh, my research comes from her article, which as always, Laura writes a fantastic article. I'm actually going to put the link of this article in the comments so you guys can go check that out. Um, and obviously photography, thank you to Cheryl and Chris of Sun Plus One uh, YouTube channel. I will put the link to their channel. Please go and check out uh, Laura's Marker Quest page. You know, you can follow her on Facebook. She has her blog website that you can go to. And for Cheryl and Chris, they put out such phenomenal content. Just, it's, it's free. Subscribe to her channel. Check out what they have to offer. Great hikes, great talk. Cheryl is, is really good with like, health type things and stuff like that as well and they're just really fun to watch their videos they just put up a cool christmas lights video uh really really neat i'd like to see it help help them grow and uh also i got to do some research with wikipedia and then a couple other as i always put my citations at the end i got a couple more pictures uh to help with this but as always i want to say thank you for coming along this is a great place i'm once again in nazareth pennsylvania to go and visit and check out and just see this this musical history that we have right here in Pennsylvania. Uh, one of the best, I would say the best to me, is the best acoustic guitar out there. Little little biased, but I'm okay with that because I think it's true, and Chris Martin would, would agree. But uh, as always, thank you for coming along on another journey, another adventure, and as always, we will see you all about town.